currency union embracing all West Africa offers advantages but faces many setbacks. Hello and welcome to Africa Unveiled. In 2003, ECOWAS proposed the idea of a single currency that would help lower trade and strengthen the economy. Initially, it was intended for the West African Monetary Zone governments to launch the currency first, which would later be integrated with the CFA franc used by the French-speaking West African countries. ECHO was selected as the currency's name during a meeting in Abuja and was expected to be launched in 2020. However, its debut has been postponed several times due to difficulties such as being under economic pressure and the inability to pay their national debts. For the ECHO to be implemented, 10 convergence criteria set out by the West African Monetary Institute must be met, with the primary four being a single-digit inflation rate at the end of each year, a fiscal deficit of no more than 4% of the GDP, a central bank deficit financing of no more than 10% of the previous year's tax revenues. Gross external reserves that can give import cover for a minimum of three months. Meeting the convergence criteria has proven to be a significant issue since some ECOWAS countries were not able to satisfy the requirements for the 2020 deadline. The CFA franc is the official currency of eight West African countries, Benin, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Mali, Niger, Senegal, and Togo. On December 21st of 2019, Ivorian President Alassane Ouattara and French President Emmanuel Macron confirmed that the CFA franc would be reformed and renamed the ECHO. This renaming will allow the currency to become financially independent from France, since the CFA franc is considered as one of the last remaining symbols of French colonial rule in Africa. Kemi Seba is a well-known activist, author, and Pan-Africanist who has spoken out against the CFA. He began a widespread currency protest in the Francophone region and argued that the currency, which French colonists first introduced in the early 1940s, serves as a symbol of the mistreatment their ancestors endured at the hands of their invaders. More people joined the demonstration as they demanded the elimination of colonial-era currency. On August 19th of 2017, Seba was arrested and charged with causing property damage to the Central Bank of West African States after burning a 5,000 CFA note in Senegal. Despite starting in Senegal, the protest appears to have spread to France and Benin, where it has gained popularity and support. Nigeria and the Echo For the currency to be put into use, the Central Bank of Nigeria will have to give up its control of the Naira, which is widely regarded as the anchor currency for West Africa. It accounts for 65% of West Africa's GDP and roughly half of its population. Being one of the only two net oil exporters in the region raises concerns that Nigeria, the largest African economy, will have control over monetary policy. However, John Gatsi, an economist and professor at Ghana's University of Cape Coast, disagrees. He stated, The fact is that Nigeria has not met the criteria and decided to rebase its economy generally. So that isn't any economic achievement for it to have met the criteria. President of Nigeria, Mohamedou Buhari, remains skeptical of the single currency. He criticized the decision to replace the CFA franc to the ECHO, claiming that it wasn't in accordance with the recent plan to create a single currency for the entire region. On February 10 of 2020, he called for the ECHO to be delayed. According to his tweet, he stated, Nigeria's position on the ECHO is that the convergence criteria have not been met by the majority of countries. There, therefore, has to be an extension of time on the takeoff of the single currency. Leaders of ECOWAS expressed their opinion that the launch was unlikely to occur. Former ECOWAS Commission President Jean-Claude Cassibru stated at a press conference in Ghana, 
Due to the shock of the pandemic, the heads of state had decided to suspend the implementation of the Convergence Pact in 2020 through 2021. We have a new roadmap and a new Convergence Pact that will cover the period between 2022 through 2026 and 2027 being the launch of the ECHO. Future of Digital Currency in Africa It has been 31 years since the African Union conceived the idea of a single currency. One reason for the slow progress is that it would be difficult for these countries to abandon their currencies, which are now gradually becoming digital after so much investment. In October 2021, Nigeria launched and activated its central bank digital currency, the e-Naira. The announcement sparked a lot of interest, and in just over a month after activation, the e-Naira was used to complete thousands of transactions. Introducing digital currencies suggests that the governments are looking for methods to make their money more useful, and if they're successful, other nations in the region will likely do the same. Thank you for watching. If you found the video to be interesting or learned something new, please click the like button and share your thoughts.